concerns that the Ebola outbreak may be spreading beyond Africa's borders. A man's death in Saudi Arabia Wednesday may be linked to the virus. He was being treated for fever at a hospital in Jeddah after returning from Sierra Leone. Samples from the patient health negative for dengue talk. Health emergency. 132 people are dead in this latest outbreak, now afflicting four West African countries, Nigeria, Guinea, and Liberia. The WHO will also convene a panel of experts next week to determine whether an experimental serum should be used to fight the disease in West Africa. That serum is believed to have helped two American doctors who contracted Ebola in Liberia. And in South Africa, more than a dozen health ministers and heads of state met for an emergency forum on how to stem the deadly disease. Members of the South African development community met in Johannesburg. To respect what the cultures of those societies want. At the same time, we need to provide a safe burial for those that are, that are handling the, the, uh, the, the remains. And so safe burial, for instance, what we are recommending is that people that are trained to handle infected corpse manage the burial process, while the families are there to just observe the process rather than they themselves taking charge of the burial. A state of emergency has been declared in Liberia because of the deadly outbreak. Travel warnings remain in effect from the United States. British Airways has suspended flights to Liberia and Sierra Leone because of that outbreak. Ebola has claimed a second life in Nigeria, and the government says five more people have been diagnosed with the virus. They had each made contact with a Liberian who flew into Lagos last month and died in a city clinic days later. CCTV's Deji Badmus has more. Confirmation that Ebola has taken root and in Africa's most populous country, the five still alive are being treated in an isolation ward in Lagos. Officials are now checking those who had contact with them. We're now doing a list of possible secondary contacts for each person. They need to be followed up one by one. If we say you're going to carry the whole family into quarantine, you know, you know, you know, you know the problem. Authorities say they are taking steps to contain any spread. But in this city of more than 20 million, people are worried. Anything they know they can do, let them do. But they should, they should try to be honest to us based on what is happening in the world and the story they are bringing to us because people are so scared as if the thing is even inside their bedroom. The government needs to work harder to educate people. In the past week, this tiny cola knot has been trending in the country. It is Garcinia cola, popularly known as bitter cola here. Now, there's a rumor that it cures Ebola. It's quite bitter anyway. But then the government has publicly dismissed that claim. I want once again, as the Minister of Health of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, to say right now there's no scientific evidence that if you just eat bitter cola, that that will help to prevent a polar viral disease or where you have it, it will help to cure it. There's no cure or vaccine for Ebola. Authorities say the best defense is basic hygiene and avoiding those infected. Deji Badmos, CCTV, Lagos, Nigeria.